we are trying to understand monopolistic competition and in my previous video we discussed what under what circumstances can monopolistic competition arise here is a list of assumptions we have made for a market structure like monopolistic competition which has some elements of monopoly and some elements of competition the first assumption is rationality and perfect knowledge this is an assumption that we retain for different market structures the big difference between monopolistic competition and perfect competition is that number of sellers under monopolistic competition is less than the number of sellers under perfect competition the third assumption is still the same as perfect competition homogeneous product or different sellers sell exactly the same product and then we have the assumption of free entry free exit now when the number of sellers is less than what we would have under perfect competition what we have is in a way imperfect competition that means the a firm under monopolistic competition will face a downward sloping demand so the demand curve or the average revenue curve for a firm under monopolistic competition will be downward sloping indicating that this firm can sell more at a lower price and if the average revenue curve is downward sloping marginal revenue will be less than average revenue so in terms of the diagram it looks pretty much like what we had under monopoly a key point and for a firm under monopolistic competition is how do we get the ar or the demand curve say for one firm under monopolistic competition consider the case of say toothpaste industry in the us and at any point in time we can figure out what can be the market demand curve for toothpaste in the entire us now based on the money that a firm spends on advertising and packaging plus also the quality of its product each firm will carve out a market share for itself and based on that market share you can derive a demand or an average revenue curve for each firm under monopolistic competition and this is dependent on the market demand curve for toothpaste for the entire country this diagram depicts short run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition and the diagram looks exactly the same as a diagram for a firm under monopoly or a monopolist and what we have is there's a downward sloping ar curve and since this curve is downward sloping mr curve must lie below the ar curve number 2 for short run equilibrium what we require is fulfillment of two conditions marginal revenue or mr must equal short run marginal cost or smc and the smc curve intersects mr from below so this will be a point and based on this you can determine how much price will be charged by a firm under monopolistic competition and how much output will be produced by a firm under monopolistic competition and in the short run it's entirely possible for a firm under monopolistic competition to make profits incur losses or be in a situation of no profit no loss it's it's very similar to what we had done when we looked at monopolist so if you do not remember you can once again watch the video on monopoly now this diagram depicts long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition and since we are looking at the long run we have to utilize the fourth assumption and that is a free entry free exit and you know the consequence of that in the long run no firm under monopolistic competition can either make profits or incur losses or in general will have to be in a situation of no profit no loss and how do we ensure this the key thing for no profit no loss is that price must equal long run average cost so here is a list of conditions that are required 
for a long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition. The first one is a standard one that is MR must equal long run marginal cost. I have not written this, but the sufficient condition is the MC curve must intersect the MR curve from below. So this will be the point we are looking at. Now at this point, based on this point, you can take this point to the demand curve like this and bring it to the vertical axis and what you have determined is price charged by a firm under monopolistic competition. And you can drop this point to the horizontal axis and you have determined quantity of output supplied by a firm under monopolistic competition. Now the key thing here is since we want no profit, no loss for a firm under monopolistic competition in long run, this price must equal long run average cost. So look at this long run average cost curve and this is tangent to the AR curve at this point, at this point. And at this point, what is the price? It's PMC. What is the average cost of production? It is still the same. So in a way, this point becomes your long run equilibrium point for a firm under monopolistic competition. So we have looked at, or we have used these two conditions, MR equals LMC, and price, which we know is the same thing as average revenue, must equal long run average cost. And so you can combine one and two. So what we have for long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition is price and average revenue are one and the same thing. This must equal long run average cost. And since we know price or average revenue is greater than marginal cost, marginal revenue, I'm sorry, so this must be greater than marginal revenue and then we require marginal revenue to equal LMC. So this whole thing in a way becomes your condition for long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition. In this diagram, we compare the outcomes uh, under monopolistic competition with that of under perfect competition. In the previous slide, based on this equilibrium condition for monopolistic competition in the long run, we have already established that this point is long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition. What about perfect competition? You might remember from the video on perfect competition, what is the condition for long run equilibrium? All these variables are equal to one another. And we have already established when we discussed perfect competition that a long run equilibrium for a firm under perfect competition is a point which is at a minimum of LAC, minimum of long run average cost. And as you can see, all the conditions are being fulfilled here. The marginal cost curve equals the average cost curve here at this point. And you take this point to the vertical axis and what you have determined is the price charged by a firm under perfect competition. And you might remember that price charged by a firm under perfect competition is the same thing as average revenue, which is the same thing as marginal revenue. So at this point, at long run equilibrium for perfect competition, you find price equals average revenue, and this equals long run average cost, and this equals long run marginal cost, and also equals marginal revenue. So we have these two equilibrium points, long run equilibrium for a firm under perfect competition, and long run equilibrium for a firm under monopolistic competition. The first thing you'll observe is that price charged by a firm under monopolistic competition is greater than the price charged by a firm under perfect competition. What about output? Output produced by a firm under perfect competition 
is always greater than the output produced by a firm under monopolistic competition. Now, look at the output that is being produced by a firm under perfect competition. This output is being produced at the minimum of long run average cost. And we believe this output in a way <clears throat> represents 100% capacity utilization. For example, you're producing something, you have some machines and you are using them to their fullest capacity. Then you are producing an output that can be produced under perfect competition. So this output under perfect competition represents 100% capacity utilization. What about a firm under monopolistic competition? The long run equilibrium is always to the left of long run equilibrium for a firm under perfect competition. Or in other words, the output produced by a firm under monopolistic competition is always going to be less than output produced by a firm under perfect competition. And if output under perfect competition represents 100% capacity utilization, under monopolistic competition, we are underutilizing our productive capacity or what we have under monopolistic competition is excess capacity. So here is a quick recap of what we have discussed when we compared the equilibrium outcomes under perfect competition with that under of under monopolistic competition. The first thing we found is price charged by a firm under perfectly competitive market is lower than the price charged by a firm under monopolistic competition. Number two, we know that output produced by a firm under perfect competition is higher than output produced by a firm under monopolistic competition. And then I've also discussed that whenever we have a market structure like monopolistic competition, there's going to be certain amount of excess capacity or some kind of waste of resources because the productive capability that has been built by the firm cannot be utilized at 100% capability. So now this concludes our discussion of this market structure called monopolistic competition. Thank you for your